Ladies and gents, what's going on out there? I wanted to make a video to talk to you guys about Diablo 4 and the three different options you have of the game to purchase. So you've got Standard, Digital Deluxe, and Ultimate. But which one makes sense for you? It really depends on how much Blizzard products you play. So let's go through that right now and figure out what makes the most sense. We're going to start off with the Standard version. So there's six things that you get for $90 Canadian, which is the base price. The first is Diablo 4 on Battle.net. The second is access to the open beta when that becomes available. I do want to stress this point. It doesn't matter which version of the game you get, whether it's Digital Deluxe, Standard, or Ultimate. Any of those, you all get access to the open beta when that becomes available. If you happen to play Diablo 3, you'll see you get the Inarius Wings and the Inarius Murloc pet. If you happen to be uh, collecting mounts in World of Warcraft, you get the Amalgam of Rage mount. And in Diablo Immortal, you get the Umber Winged Darkness cosmetic set. All of the things I just listed there, that's all for standard purchase of $90 Canadian. Going right down the middle, you get access to the digital deluxe version of Diablo 4. It's about $120 Canadian, listed at $119.99. And for that, you get four additional things. One of those things is up to four days in advance, early access to Diablo 4. So instead of starting the game on June 6th, you're going to start it on June 2nd. But have a look at your Battle.net launcher. In the Battle.net launcher here, it says, up to four days based on estimated access, actual playtime subject to possible outages, and applicable time zone differences. So I think what they're doing is they're giving themselves a little bit of a window of, okay, we're getting slammed on the servers, people are playing like crazy, but our servers can't handle it, and there's downtime. What you're doing is, if you're buying Digital Deluxe, you're giving yourself the absolute best opportunity to get ahead of the curve, or at least be on the curve where everybody else is going to be. Digital Deluxe is trying to get you ahead of the gates to hell opening. Just getting in there a little fast if you can. Talking about the battle pass you got with the digital deluxe purchase of Diablo 4, King and Clark here in the August quarterly update referenced some things that may be important for you before you make your purchase of Diablo 4. He mentions that the battle pass has free tiers and premium tiers. Throughout the pass, players can earn a variety of rewards for free by playing the game. At any point during the seasons though, players can purchase the premium pass to unlock the ability to earn premium rewards tiers containing seasonally themed cosmetics and premium currency. The Battle Pass awards cosmetics. Like the shop, these don't affect gameplay. Additionally, certain cosmetic types are exclusive to the Battle Pass. Now, he mentions that it doesn't affect gameplay. However, if Diablo 4 does go down the avenue that Path of Exile did with MTX, you may have the benefit or option to change the artwork on spells. That would affect gameplay if you look at it that way. So with regards to just buying everything in the Battle Pass, right? Let's say you swipe Dad's credit card and you got all the money in the world and you max out your Battle Pass. You're not just going to win everything. Have a listen to this. Players can purchase tiers, but they won't speed up getting season boosts. Players can't upgrade season boosts just by purchasing tiers because they'll also have to earn level milestones to apply them. All other tier rewards can be unlocked instantly by purchasing tiers. So in other words, there's no way to shortcut getting season boosts by tiers. They must be earned. So if you want to get that player power, you want to get that EXP boost, you got to level a character. I love that. Lastly, on the right-hand side, you get access to the ultimate version of Diablo 4. With a price tag of $130, $129.99, you gain two additional features. One is the Battle Pass Accelerated with 20 tier skips and the Wings of the Creator emote. So not only are you going to feel real nice, because you got the best you could get. You're also going to look real nice because you got all these cosmetics with the tier skips and you can emote to your friends and get the wings out and have a good time while waiting for other people to hop in a dungeon or slap the crap out of a world boss or uh, whatever you want to do. You got the wings of the creator. Now, with all that said and done, I guess the question you ask yourself is how valuable is four additional days in advance? If you really don't care, if you're not taking time off of work and you just want to casually get in the Sanctuary in Diablo 4, go with the standard version, you know? If uh, you want to get in there as the gates of hell open up and you want to be like right in the mess, right in the conversation of server instability, a ton of hype, and hopefully one of the best versions of Diablo we've ever seen, then maybe Digital Deluxe or Ultimate is right for you. I don't want to tell you what to do, but really, I hope this video gave you something to think about before you spend your hard-earned money on the next copy of Diablo. Lilith's looking real nice. You guys are looking fantastic too. And uh, leave your message in the comments. What version are you going to buy? For me, I went ultimate. Um, I got to have those wings, man. I got to, I don't have any hair. I'll take the wings. Catch you guys in the next one.